Aha! <laughs> Hello to you, Tarmina. Ah, you must be the one I got the message about. How can I help you? Ah, the message has arrived so soon. Well, we are having trouble with uh, a Daedra cult called the Mythic Dawn. Do you know anything about them? You know of them? One of the most secretive of all the Daedra cults. Not much is known about them. Hmm. They follow the teachings of Maincar Cameron, whom they call the Master, a shadowy figure in his own right. Well, I found one of their books, if you would like to have a look at it. I've had a look at one of yours, so fair is fair, I suppose. Ah, yes. Commentaries on the Mysterium Xarxes. Wonderful. You have a scholarly interest in Daedric cults, then? Ah, uh, perhaps so. Aside from that, I, I need to find the Mythic Dawn. They have taken something quite dear to me. Find and everyone. Them, huh? I won't poke my nose any further. Official business and all that. I'm used to working with the blades. Don't worry. Say no more. In any case, finding them won't be easy. I've studied Mankar Cameron's writings a bit myself. At least those that I could find. It is clear from the text that Mankar Cameron's commentaries come in four volumes, but I've only ever seen the first two books. I believe that his writings contain hidden clues to the location of the Mythic Dawn's secret shrine to Merun's Dagon. Those who unlock this hidden path have proven themselves worthy to join the ranks of the Mythic Dawn cult. Finding the shrine is the first test. If you want to find them, you'll need all four volumes of the commentaries. Ah, it sounds like quite a task, running about back and forth. Is there not an easier way? Do you know where these books might be held? Perhaps they are all four in the same place? Here. You can have the library's copy of Volume 2. Treat it gently, if you please. Hmm. As I've said, Why, thank I've you. never even seen the third and fourth volumes. You should try first edition over in the Market District. Hmm. Fintius, the proprietor, caters to specialist collectors. He may have an idea of where to locate those books. That sounds like quite the plan. Um, do you know anything else about the Mythic Dawn? They worship the Daedra Lord Merun's Dagon, according to the teachings of their leader, Maincar Cameron. No Main one knows Cameron. how widespread the cult is or where their shrine to Merun's Dagon is located. Hmm. Do you know more about Menkar Cameron? The supposed leader of the Mythic Dawn cult. He wrote the infamous Commentaries on the Mysterium Xarxes. The commentaries are contemporary with Tiber's Septum over 400 years ago, so he is unlikely to still be alive, although you never know. <laughs> Indeed. Well... Anything else that I can learn about these books? The Holy Book of the Mythic Dawn, supposedly written by Merun's Dagon himself. If it exists, it would be an artifact of great and evil power. Hmm. Well, I hope it does not take control of my mind or some such. Thank you so much, Tarmina. You've been a great help. It was so nice chatting with you. Be sure mm, to let you. me know how your hunt for the Mythic Dawn turns out. My goodness. Indeed, I shall. I would like to have a, a look at these books for just a second. I've got so many books, let me tell you. Magic from the Sky. Mythic Dawn Commentaries 1 and 2. We should go to first edition books. Let us go ahead and have a read. Commentaries on the Mysterium Xarxes by Mengar Cameron. Greetings, novitiate! And f no first a reassurance, Mankar Cameron was once like you, asleep, unwise, protonymic. We mortals leave the dreaming sleeve of birth the same unmantled save for the symbiosis with our mothers, thus to practice, and thus to reach reproachment, until finally... We might, through new eyes, leave our hearts without need or fear that she remains behind. In this moment, we destroy her forever and enter the Demesne of Lord Dagon. 
Reader, this book is your door to that Desmen. Des... Demesne? Demesne. <laughs> and though you be a destroyer, you must still submit to locks. Hmm. Lord Dagon would only have those clever enough to pause. All else, the Arbus claims in their fool running, walk first. Heed. The impatience you feel is your first slave to behead. Hmm. Enter as Lord Dagon has written. Come, slow, and bring four keys. Know then that you are royalty, a new breed of destroyer, whose garden shall flood with flowers known and unknown, as it was in the mythic dawn. Thus shall you return to your first primal whale, and yet come out different. It shall this time be Neonimbiosis. Neonimbiosis! <laughs> master akin to master, whose mother is Miasma. Every quarter has known us, and none bore our passing except with trembling. Perhaps you came to us through war, or study, or shadow, or the alignment of certain snakes. Though each path matters in its kind, the prize is always thus. Welcome, novitiate. That you are here at all means that you have the worthiness of kings. Seek thy pocket now and look. There is the first key, glinting with the light of a new dawn. Night follows day, and so know that this primary insight shall fall alike unto the turbulent evening sea, where all faiths are tested. Again, a reassurance. Even the usurper went under the Iliac before he rose up to claim his fleet. Fear only for a second, shaken belief, is like water for a purpose. In the garden of the dawn we shall breathe whole realities. Enter, as Lord Dagon has written. Come slow and bring four keys. Our order is based on the principles of his mighty razor, novitiate. Questing, knight, chaplain, and master. Let the evil ones burn in his light, as if by the excess of our vision. Then shall our knowledge go aright. However, recall that your sight is yet narrow, and while you have the invitation, you do not have the address. My own summons came through a book Lord Dagon wrote himself in the deserts of rust and wounds. Its name is the Mysterium Xarxus. Aldemetre aggregate, forefather to the wife of all enigma, each word is razor fed in secret, thinner than cataclysms, tarnished like red drink. That I mention it at all is a testament to your new rank, my child. Your name is now cut into its weight. Palace, hut, or cave, you have all left the fog worlds of conception behind. New Mancha, liberty, rejoice in the promise of paradise. Endlessly it shall form and reform around you, deeds as entities, all systems only an hour before they bloom to zero suns. Flowering like vestments, divine raiment, worn to dance at Lord Dagon's golden feet. In the first arm, a storm. His second, the rush of plagued rain. The third, all the tinder of Anu, and the fourth, the very eyes of Padholm. Feel uplifted in thine heart that you have the first key, for it shall strike high and low, into the false worm rot, into the worm rot of false heavens. Roaring I wandered, until I grew hoarse with the gospel. I had read the mysteries of Lord Dagon, and feeling anew went mad with overflow. My words found no purchase until I became hidden. These were not words for the common of Tamriel, whose clergy long ago feigned the very existence of the dawn. Learn from my mistake. Know that humility was Mankar Cameron's original wisdom. Come slow, and bring four keys. Offering myself to that daybreak allowed the girdle of grace to contain me. When my voice returned, it spoke with another tongue. After three nights, I could speak fire. Red drink, razor fed. I had glimpsed the path unto the garden, and knew that to inform others of its harbor I had to first drown myself in the search's sea. Know ye that I found my fleet, and that you are the flagship of my hope. Greetings, novitiate. Mankar Cameron was once you, asleep. Unwise, protonymic, but am no more. Now I sit and wait to feast with thee on all the worlds of the cosmos. New Mancha! Liberty! Hmm. Quite an interesting start. I should like to read a bit more. Book number two by Mankar Cameron. Whosoever findeth this, this document, I call him brother. Answers are liberations where slaves of Malbiage 
that came to know Numantia cast down their jailer King Mastiac, which the Xarxus Mysterion calls the Arcane. Mastiac, whose carcass was dragged through the streets by his own bonewalkers and whose flesh was opened on rocks thereon, and whose angels who loved him no longer did drink from his honeyed acres screaming, let all know free will and do as they will. Your coming was foretold, my brother, by the Lord Dagon in his book of razors. You are to come as idols drop away from you one by one. You are exalted in eyes that have not set, that have not yet set on you. You, swain to well traveler to shattered, swain to well traveled to shatter of mantles, <laughs> mantles. You, brother, are to sit with me in paradise and be released of all unknowns. Indeed, I shall show you his book, and its foul and many feathered rubrics, so that you can put into symbols what you already know. The sphere of destruction is but the milk of the unslaved. I fault not your stumbling, for they are expected, and given grace by the oils. I crave not your downfalls, though without them you might surpass me even in the coming earth of all infinities. Lord Dagon wishes you no ills but the momentous, and as he wants, you must want. And so learn from the pages of the god this, the ritual of want. Whisper to earth and earth, where meddlers take no stones except to blood, as blood is blood. And to the cracking of bone, as bone is bone, and so to crack and answer and fall before the one and one. I call you Dragon, as brother and king. Hides of draw, seven, seven. Drought of oil, one and one, circles drawn by wet debelites, debelites, three concentric and let their lower blood fall where it may, a birth watched by the blackbirds, hearthfire first, incant the following, when your hearing becomes blurred. Enraptured he, who finally goes unrecorded, recorded the slaves that without knowing turned the wheel, enslaved, all the children of the Arbus as it is. Fascinating. I did find the first book uh, a bit more of a more interesting read, but yes, there are many things here. Could I go here? How do you use this? Jump on it? Oh, that seems to work. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Hello to you. Excuse me, I'm Irlov Jarol, a researcher for our <clears throat> university. Aliens are my specialty. Aliens, you say? Hmm. I would like to know about uh, some alien geomancy. I did read a book downstairs. I apologize for prying. Do you know anything about that? Archmage Traven is the first to take such a hard stance on necromancy. It upset more than a few people. I guess that's a no then? <laughs> Thank you anyway, sir. Take care. I'll be on my way. And is this another way to go up? Archmage's quarters. Ha! <laughs> oh yeah, that's pretty fun. I'm having a good time with that. Oh my. There's a sleepy fellow. Who's a sleepy fellow? He is the ultimate ar archmage. I should not trifle with him. <laughs> Back! Not supposed to be. I apologize. I thought we had a pretty good conversation. I'll see you later. Zap! Oh, those are so useful. I really do like those things a lot. <laughs> you have my ear, citizen. Hmm. You have my butt. No, you don't. Nobody does. Hail, good Brandar's citizen. butt is his own. I will say that uh, I was a bit of a mama's boy in my youth. Yes, I would like to talk a little bit more about my family, friends. Um, my mother always protected me, in a way. Swaddled me, made sure I had everything that was needed. As most parents do, but I should wonder if my brother feels the same way about my mother that my I do pieces. about my father. Is all of that tracking? Do you understand that? Ah, it's it's a tough thing to explain. I guess maybe parents do take sides, you know? My mother always had the same sense of humor. I guess my, my brother had found uh, my father's sense of humor, my stepfather's sense of humor, to be more accurate. 
So it is uh, only natural that we would get along a little bit better. It's not necessarily playing favorites, it is simply a uh, being who you are. Is this the place? Yes, Market District. And then we have to go to First Edition Books. Ah, just there. Oh, they are closed yet. No, no, no. No lockpick on this one. Pull that out of the door before the guard sees me. Ah, it's early yet. I'll wait around an hour. A little bit of loitering never hurt anyone. Ah! Have I been here before? Hmm. I recognize many of these books. Beggar Prince. I like the name of that. Ah, whenever I stop into a bookshop, just all the smells. It's history here, friends. We could sit and read all of the histories of the Empire. You can sit and soak your mind in knowledge. Ah, a glorious thing. Anyhow, how are you, sir? I have such a passion for books these I'm days. I'm Fintius, owner and proprietor of the first edition. Look around. If I don't have it, maybe I can get it. Hmm. Well, I'm looking for a second and third edition of quite a rare book. It is called The Mysterium Xarxes? You must be referring to Mankar Cameron's commentaries on the Mysterium Xarxes. A common mistake. Oh, you took that it comes better in than four I thought. Volumes. The first two volumes are rare, but you may run across them from time to time. The third and fourth are impossible to find. Hmm. Those are the ones that I need. I happen to have a copy of Volume 3 on hand, but I'm afraid it is a special order. Already paid for by another customer. Sorry. Gwyneth would be terribly disappointed if it was gone when he came to pick it up. So sorry I can't help you. Oh, I'm sure you are. What do you know about this Guinness? Perhaps I could have a conversation with him. I don't know him. him personally, but he was very eager to get his hands on Volume 3 of Cameron's Commentaries. Came all the way from Valenwood. Hmm. As a matter of fact, he's already late for his appointment to pick up the book. Feel free to wait for him if you want to speak to him yourself. I might do just that. Can you tell me anything about Volume 4? Anything I at all? I wish I had one, but I have never even seen a copy. <sighs> well, where did you get that copy of Volume 3, then? I'm afraid I couldn't sell it to you for any price. I've already promised it to someone else, and my word is my bond. A shame, that. Could I ask you one more time about Volume I'm 3? I'm afraid I couldn't sell it to you for any price. Uh, well enough. Good day. Perhaps we might wait for this Gwynius to come in. I don't suppose he would have the uh, the book sitting on a shelf somewhere. Amulet of Kings, yes. I know quite a bit about Amulet of Kings. Hmm, mineral resources. This is quite a long one. Hmm. I'll just have a look around. Don't mind me. Guinness. Hmm. I should only wonder where that fellow is. Is he part of the uh, Mythic Dawn? Can you see me? You can't see me. I'm here for Nobody my book. Sees me. Mankind <gasps> Cameron's commentaries, Volume Three. <gasps> Ah, of course, here you <gasps> it's go. you! Keep us in mind for any future needs. Thank you. Thank you. I can't tell you how long I've been looking for this book. Mm. Hi. Hello. No, please don't what? go. I I really need that uh that book that you have. Commentaries, volume three. Have you been following me? Leave me alone. That book is mine. <sighs> please tell me. Are you part of the Mythic Dawn cult? Just be honest with your friend, Brendar. The Mythic Dawn? Are you... 
I mean, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know anything about any cult. I did not call it the friend. I did not call it the cult, friend. I think you're uh, way in over your head. I beg your pardon? You presume to tell me about Diedrich cults? I'll have you know that I visited the shrine of Sheagorath during the Festival of the Mad. I've spoken with Hermaeus Mora beneath the full moons. I've... Hmm. They killed the Emperor, you fool. We must undo this madness. Do you not realize that you throw the entire world into flux? Perhaps the Day of the Mad at the Shrine of Sheogorath has taken more of a toll on you than you have thought. What? The Mythic Dawn were the ones? You have to believe me. I truly had no idea. I mean, I knew they were a Diedrich cult. Mancar Cameron's views on Mayrune's Dagon are fascinating, revolutionary even. <laughs> but to murder the Emperor, Mara preserve us. Please, friend, give me that book. I must use it to track down the Mythic Dawn and end this madness. Yes, of course. I don't want anyone to think I had anything to do with their insane plots. Here, Volume 3 is yours. What you do with it is your business. Ah, thank you so much, my friend. Quite gracious of you. Unfortunately, uh, I need one more book, the fourth edition. You seem the scholarly sort. Perhaps you've heard something of it? You can only get Volume 4 directly from a member of the Mythic Dawn. I had set up a meeting with the sponsor, as he called himself. Here, take this note they gave me. It tells you where to go. I don't want anything else to do with the Mythic Dawn. Ah, you've been a great help, Gwynis. Fantastic. So let's have a look at this note. And also the... The Mythic Dawn commentaries. Gwyneth, your interest in the writings of the Master has been noted. You're taking the first steps toward true enlightenment. Persevere, and you may yet join the exalted ranks of the Chosen. If you wish to continue further down the path of Dawn, you will need the fourth volume of the Master's Commentaries of the Mysterium Xarxas. It can be attained only from a member of the Order of the Mythic Dawn. As your designated sponsor, I will pass on my copy to you if I deem you worthy. Study the first three volumes of the Master's writing. Look for his hidden meaning in his words as best as you are able. When you're ready, come to the sunken sewers under the Elven Gardens in the Imperial City. Come alone. Follow the main tunnel until you reach the room with the table and chair. Sit down. I'll meet you there. And give you what you desire. Sunken sewers under the Elven Gardens. Follow the main tunnel until you reach the room with the table and chair. Hmm. And what does this say? Hmm. Three out of four, friends. We've come upon them fairly quickly. Book number three by Menkar Cameron. The tower touches all the mantles of heaven, brother novitiates, and by its apex one can be as he will. More, be as he was, and yet changed for all else on that path for those that walk after. This is the third key of Numantia, and the secret of how mortals became makers, and makers back to mortals. The bones of the wheel need their flesh, and that is mankind's heirloom. Oathbreakers beware, for their traitors run through Nimic paths, runners of dogs and prolix gods. The dragon's blood have hidden ascension in 6,000 years of ethereal labyrinth, which is arena, which they yet deny is oathbound. By the book, take this key and pierce the divine shell that encloses the mantle takers. The skin of gold, scarab a arbex. Woe to the oathbreakers of the skin of gold. The Xarxes Mysterium says, Be fooled not by the forlorn that ride astray the roadway, but for they lost faith, and this losing was caused by the Aedra, who would know no other planets. Whereby the words of Lord Dagon instruct us to destroy these faithless, eat or bleed dry the gone. Forlorn and gain that small will that led them to walk the path of Godhead at the first. Spit out or burn to the side that which has made them delay. Know them as Nimoli. Every new limb is paid for by the underknown. See, brother, and give not more than give not more 
to the Hydra. Reader, you will, so you will soon sense a shadow choir. The room you are in right now will grow eyes and voices. The candle or spell light you read this by will become gateways for the traitors I have mentioned. Scorn them, and fear not. Call them names, call out their base natures. I, the Mancar of Stars, am with you. And I come to take you to my paradise, where the tower traitors shall hang on glass racks until they smile with the new revolution. Is this... that is your ward against the Nemoli. They run blue through noise and shine only when the earth trembles with the eruption of the newly mantled. Tell them, go, Gartok Almienum. God is come. Numi Mora. Num Delai Nem. Once you walk it in the mythic, it surrenders its power to you. Myth is nothing more than the first wants. Unutterable truth. Unutterable truth. <sighs> Ponder this while searching for the fourth key. Understood laws of the Arcanature will fall away like heat. First tower dictate. Render the, the mutant bound where he may do no more harm. As the god of the Mundus alike shall be his progeny, split from their divine sparks. We are eight time eight exarchs. Let the home of Padmasius as sole exit. Chim. Chim? What is this? Those who know it can reshape the land. Witness the home of the Red King once jungled. He that enters paradise enters his own mother. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> e Ulmalruma. The Arbus endeth in all ways. Endeth we seek through. Our dawn all endeth. Falter now and become one with the wayside orphans that feed me. Follow and I shall adore you from inside. My first daughter ran from the Dagonite Road. Her name was Ruma, and I ate her with no bread and made another which learned, and I loved that one, and Blackbirds formed her twin behind all time. Starlight is your mantle, brother. Wear it to see by, and add its light to paradise. Terrifying. Surely this was written by a madman. But I suppose I should uh, not be surprised by a Daedric cult. And my friend Guinness. I suppose back to the Elven Gardens district, but uh, perhaps I should like to have a look around, perhaps buy some lockpicks. Hmm. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.